Right now, with thousands of Pinellas County residents under a safer at home order, it does beg the question, how can some people still be on the beach? Who's in charge of enforcing the order along the 30 plus miles of sand? It in your side's Pinellas County reporter Christine McClarty is there to break it all down for us. Christine, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Right now, there's a lot of invisible lines that are drawn in the sand, causing confusion. From about here over is private property. We're on a private beach from the condo, but all the dry sand beyond here is patrolled by the county. And once you hit the wet sand and the water, that's the state's jurisdiction. Indian Rocks Beach is closed, but some are still there. I'm here visiting, and I, unfortunately, of course, I can't go in the water, so I come here and take a look at the beach, and it's been very busy. Last couple of hours, I've seen six to probably 12 surfers out there enjoying the uh, surf. Here's a breakdown of who patrols what. The county deputies or city police patrol the dry sand. The state is in charge of the wet sand and the water. Today, the governor dropped a formal statewide stay-at-home order. Aid on your side called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation to see if that changes people allowed in the water or on the wet sand, but we haven't heard back yet. Um, yeah. yeah, the weather. <laughs> yeah. You don't get this in Chicago. We spoke with some spring breakers staying in a beach house who have seen deputies patrolling. We've seen many deputies almost like what? Almost every one or two minutes actually. Yeah. <laughs> like it's crazy. Minutes. We reached out to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department for comment, but we're told there's nothing new the sheriff hasn't said before. At some point, people need to take personal responsibility. However, if you do see concerning activity pertaining to COVID-19, you can always call the Pinellas County Sheriff's tip line at 727-582-TIPS. There's a board. There's a Board of County Commissioners meeting tomorrow at 930 where the sheriff is going to speak out about people at the beaches. Of course, stay with eight on your side for the latest on that. Now, coming up at 530, we're speaking with a man who says sunset at the beaches are still getting very crowded. Reporting live at Madeira Beach, Christine McClarty, eight on your side.